Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at is um, an acceleration problem that involves distance. So the question reads, while repairing uh, something on the roof on a building that's 435 meters tall, um, a gentleman drops his hammer and it falls all the way to the ground below. How long will it take for the hammer to fall and what speed will it hit the pavement? As always, the first step is to, uh, to draw out the problem, right? So we draw the building. Man working on the top of the building. He drops a hammer. The hammer falls, and it falls a certain distance. Okay, the distance that the problem reads, it says that this is 435 meters. Okay, now, because this is an acceleration problem, we have two equations that deal with this. The first one is D is 1 half GT squared, and the second one is V equals GT. So in this equation, this is the one piece of information that they give you. This is equal to d. So in choosing equations, you base that on what variable you have. So the first, the one equation that we can use is this one here. So 435 meters equals 1 half gt squared. That's where we're going to start. We're going to say that gravity, for simplicity's sake, is 10 meters per second per second. And the equation moves on as such. You have 435 meters equals 1 half 10 meters per second per second times t squared. This ends up being 5. So we can divide this by 5 meters per second squared. That crosses out. Divide this by 5 meters per second squared. 435 divided by 5 is 87. Okay, following dimensional analysis and taking care of the units, you cross meters out with meters, you're left with seconds squared, and you're left with t squared. Okay, the final step in this problem is to take the square root of this, take the square root of this, you're left with the time equaling 9.3 seconds. Okay, but that's not what it asks you. Or actually, that's the first thing it asks you. It asks you how long it's going to take for the hammer to fall. That's how long. The second part of the question is asks you what speed will it hit the pavement. Um, that you plug into this equation right here. So the velocity of the hammer is equal to gravity times time. Velocity is equal to 10 meters per second squared times this time that we got here, which is 9.3 seconds. Multiply these two together, we get a velocity equal to 93. And the units are, this crosses out with the square, meters per second. Meters per second. OK? That's the solution to this problem. That's a two-step problem. You can use this sort of cookbook formula for any type of, uh, of problem where you're dealing with something falling, the velocity, the time it takes to fall, or the distance it takes to fall. Thanks a lot.